They call me Hell. They call me Stacy. They call me Hell. They call me Jane. That's not my name. That's not my name. That's not my name. That's not my name. They call me Quiet Girl, but I'm a liar. Mary Jo Lisa. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Juan. Uh, well, Clever's business is to bring 3D to the web on any device. That means all the things that, we, all the great experience, immersive experience you get on video games and, and, uh, and virtual tours, or even uh, some 3D advertisement that you can't see on the web, you'll be able to see on the web. And what we've done, we created a cloud-based editor to let professionals create those great 3D experiences and share them instantly on the web so that the customers don't need to download any plugins. They just experience this at a, as, the same, as another part of the web, like, with, like a video or Google map or aud uh, audio file. So I want to talk a little bit of how we achieved to do that and how we're making 3D a native part of the web. I also want to talk a little bit about how we went from a cool project to a rocking startup, as we think, I think we are today, and a little bit about our future plans. So to, be, to begin with, I'm going to show how Clever works. You start by just dragging in a file that you created in any 3D uh, uh, software that you're using right now. I, this is actually a professional editor. Clever is a professional editor in the cloud. You see, I'm working real time on the web. I haven't installed anything, so I'm doing extremely powerful 3D rendering on the browser. Once you've finished and you create an awesome scene, for example, a ad or a configurator, you just push a button, and here you can see a, fu a full screen version of a 3D experience on the web. You haven't downloaded an app. There's no, nothing between you and just experiencing this. But the coolest thing is what we do is we publish iframes. It's it, like the embedded code of a YouTube or Google Maps. And you just put it into the website. So it becomes a native part of your web experience. This is actually our, our uh, licensing website. So you can go in there with your smartphone right now and see this right away. Very important. These, these websites that have our content, you can come from, go for on a computer, on a tablet, or a cell phone. So why would anybody want to spend time doing 3D content? Well, companies love 3D, mainly because it's a great way to show, differentiate yourself from your competitors, also to give an innovative experience, but mostly in digital media, media what counts is customer engagement. Interactive 3D creates six times more customer engagement than any other type of media. But getting there is not that easy. That's the problem we're solving. We're solving time to market. F to create the configurator like this takes a few people uh, right now developing it. With our, with our tool, that doesn't happen. Obviously, development costs, licensing costs, but especially fragmentation, which is what I was mention mentioning before. Developing once, and it works on everything. And actually, if you look at the uh, car configuration example, a car configuration in th configurator in 3D costs about the cheapest you can get, $32,000 and two months of work. With our application, 50 bucks a month, one guy, one week. That's a very big difference. So that's what we do. And the next thing I want to talk to about, about, about is a little bit of our experience here at Wira. We came here. Pretty, two pretty experienced guys. We had, 20, we had 22 experience between us. To, uh, Daniel, this is the third uh, 3D engine that he's developed. He's worked for great uh, uh, gaming studios, but also had actually his own. Um, I'd worked for Fortune 500 companies and leading startups here from Barcelona. We had the, have been very lucky be able and blessed we've been able to work with customers like Warner, Red Hat, um, Disney, or uh, I've actually signed a global deal with IBM, which I should get a medal for in patience because that takes more than a year. And we had a lot of stuff going on, but pretty much when we came to Waira, we were underfinanced and we pretty much could showcase what we did. We caught the attention of ma major guys, but we were pretty much just two punks that came through the door. And after only one month, we got our first customer in the US. A few months later, we, we were invited to a European uh, R&D programs where Disney is one of the leading, leading companies inviting us. And I can tell you, when you have a startup and you're sitting in an office alone at night and somebody calls you and says, look, we're Disney and we're the, uh, also the, uh, the Institute of German Artificial Intelligence, we want you to be part of our R&D, you get, you get pretty shocked. And then also we've been able to uh, finalize what would be the whole beta pro uh, uh, program and uh, we're formalizing our seed round uh, as we speak. By Q2, at the end of this quarter, we'll be able to release our product and cover three main use cases, which is advertising, product configuration in 3D, and architecture, you know, those uh, uh, virtual walkthroughs. 
And now, we went from being two punks to six guys working full time on this project. So what's next for us, the next six to nine months? Well, it's probably one of the most, the, the, probably the most important period in, our pro, uh, in Clever's history. We're going to do five uh, uh, releases covering five main areas within 3D, solving always getting that kind of stuff on the web. Our objective is obviously finalizing this project, but getting the right traction and metrics so we can, by the end of the year, expand to the US. And at that point, we'll probably need to, uh, n another round of financing. We're looking at at least $2 million, which we're going to be spending on business development, further uh, product development to enhance that uh, business development, and obviously legal, because we have a lot of IP that we need to protect. So before you go home today, I want you to remember three things. Clever takes 3D to the web. That's, you have to remember that. The other one, we've closed our, closed our round and we'll be expanding to, uh, uh, to the US by the end of this year. If you want to remember more things about us, uh, we'll be down in the, in the lobby and I'll be happy to answer any questions. Thank you very much.